What is gneiss? Gneiss is a common metamorphic rock that is formed through the process of regional metamorphism. It is a type of foliated rock, which means it has a banded or layered appearance due to the alignment of its mineral grains. The mineral composition of gneiss is typically dominated by feldspar, quartz, and mica, although other minerals such as garnet, hornblende, and pyroxene may also be present. Gneiss forms from existing rock that is subjected to high temperature, pressure, and shear stress over a long period of time. This metamorphic process causes the minerals in the rock to recrystallize and align, forming the characteristic banded texture of gneiss. The type of rock that is transformed into gneiss depends on its original composition, but common parent rocks include granite, shale, and sandstone. Gneiss can be found in a variety of geological settings, from mountain ranges and deep within the Earth's crust to exposed outcrops at the Earth's surface. It is often used as a building stone due to its strength, durability, and attractive appearance. Gneiss may also contain valuable minerals such as gold, silver, and copper, making it an important resource for mining and mineral exploration. The appearance and texture of gneiss can vary widely depending on its composition and the conditions under which it was formed. Some types of gneiss are highly foliated with distinct bands of minerals, while others are less foliated and have a more uniform appearance. The color of gneiss can range from white to gray, pink, yellow, or green, depending on the minerals present. Overall, gneiss is an important rock in the study of geology and is widely used in construction, industry, and art. Its unique texture and appearance make it a popular choice for countertops, flooring, and decorative stone. How is gneiss formed? Gneiss is formed through a process of regional metamorphism, which involves the transformation of pre-existing rock under high temperatures and pressures. This process can occur deep within the Earth's crust or in areas where tectonic plates collide, causing rocks to be subjected to extreme pressure and temperature. The formation of gneiss begins with a parent rock, which can be any type of igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic rock. The parent rock is subjected to intense heat and pressure over a long period of time, causing the minerals within the rock to recrystallize and reorient themselves. This process typically occurs over millions of years and may involve the intrusion of magma or the movement of tectonic plates. As the minerals within the rock recrystallize, they become aligned in a parallel fashion, giving gneiss its characteristic banded appearance. The type and arrangement of minerals within the rock determine the pattern and texture of the bands. For example, Bands of feldspar and quartz may alternate with bands of mica or other minerals, creating a distinctive striped pattern. The process of gneiss formation can also involve the migration of fluids and chemical reactions between minerals, leading to the formation of new minerals such as garnet or storolite. The presence of these minerals can provide clues about the conditions under which the gneiss was formed. Overall, the formation of gneiss is a complex and dynamic process that involves the transformation of pre-existing rock over millions of years. The resulting rock is characterized by its banded appearance and unique mineral composition, making it an important subject of study in the field of geology. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.